I'm Dan Ackerman, and we're taking a look at some of the features of Apple's iPad. This time, we're looking at Netflix for the iPad, which has really got to be on anybody's shortlist of killer apps for this device. We installed the Netflix app. Uh, we tied it into our account. Now we're launching it. And you know what? It looks a heck of a lot like Netflix's website, uh, where you can go and, and play videos in your instant queue. They line up the same way they do on your PC. We just hit play right there. There's a little authorizing. And jumps us right back into the movie that we were watching. One thing I like a lot about this version of it compared to, let's say, watching Netflix on your TV is the search bar at the uh, top, actually very quick and responsive. You can jump anywhere in the film pretty quickly and it rebuffers and starts playing just like that. So while the iPad screen is ironically better suited for 4x3 material, you can still obviously watch HD videos from the Netflix library. Lost is a great example of that. Their stuff is all in HD on Netflix. And again, you just hit play buffers up and starts playing you know, reasonably quickly, especially over the nice Wi-Fi connection we've got going here. So of course, just like the Netflix website, uh, you've got your Watch Instantly tab, you've got your Instant Queue, you can jump right into your queue, and you can see what you have lined up, and you can start playing any of these movies instantly. So having the Netflix app available on the iPad at launch is kind of a pleasant surprise. We didn't really know this was coming this quickly. Uh, that said, it is kind of basically just a Netflix website repurposed for the iPad. Might have been nice to see a more iPad-specific UI kind of designed to it. Uh, still, we're happy to have it. We definitely call it a killer app for the iPad. I'm Dan Ackerman, taking a look at Netflix on the Apple iPad.